Good morning children and welcome to the EBS2 class. So children, you remember what we did yesterday in our live class? Yes, we, were, we are doing the lesson, that is lesson number four, the story of the past. And children, before I begin with the class, all of you, please take out your EVS2 textbook. Okay, children, all of you, you take out your EVS2 textbook. And before I begin the lesson, let's just take a quick recap of what we studied yesterday. Okay, children. So, children, I hope you all are ready with your EVS2 textbook. Okay, then we shall begin with the lesson. So, children, yesterday, what did we study? Yesterday in our live class, we studied that early human beings lived in caves. You remember, uh, in your book, there is a picture of cave. And you know, what are these caves? These caves are holes in the mountains or in hills, as I told you. And early human beings used to live in these caves. Then number two, they studied. What did we study? We studied the caves protected them from animals, heat, cold and rain. And these caves, what they did, they used to protect the early human beings like a house. It protected them from animals, heat, cold and rain. Then number three, early human beings looked like apes. Okay, next we came to topic that early human beings looked like apes and then <clears throat> their bodies and faces changed okay from apes they became to proper human beings like us so early human beings took thousands of years to develop themselves first they were apes like behaved like apes looked like apes then they changed to the present human beings okay children so this was the recap of what we did in the yesterday's live class so children shall we proceed with the lesson so all of you take out your evs to textbook and take out this page today two important topics we are going to study one is using and learning to make fire how the early human beings learned to use fire and number two how they did farming okay so slowly slowly the early human beings started to learn many things now here children you can see using and learning to make fire how the early human beings started to learn to use fire it's given here you all of you take out your book and take out this page it's given early humans saw that lightning lightning made trees catch fire and burn all the animals were afraid of fire Early humans picked up burning branches to protect themselves from dangerous animals. Now human beings, they saw lightning. Okay, lightning, what is lightning? It's thunder and lightning. Now lightning, sometimes what happens? They make the trees catch fire and burn. And when humans saw that these lightning, they used to make the trees catch fire and burn. And also the animals were afraid of fire. They noted this this thing that animals were afraid of fire till then they didn't know how to make fire it was by nature the nature that nature used to naturally cause uh, the burning of fire then early humans then what happened what they did they picked the branches to protect themselves from dangerous animals and early human beings what they used to do they used to pick up this burning branches okay these branches which caught fire by themselves in order to protect themselves from dangerous animals then we come to the next paragraph it's given at times meat and roots fell into the fire early humans tasted this food they found that it tasted better than raw food this is how early human beings learned to cook but they had to wait for lightning to burn a tree to get fire. Now what happened children when this lightning, okay thunder and lightning which happens due to rain, when this lightning they burnt the fire tree, what happened? Sometimes what happened? Meat and roots accidentally used to fall, in, fall into the fire. And when early human beings tasted this meat and root which fell into the fire, they found it was tasty and it tasted better than raw food then they started waiting for the lightning 
to cause to be caused by the nature and then what happened they used to wait for the fire to be caused by the lightning which is to burn the trees and then they used to <coughs> wait so that when uh, this fire is caused they used to throw in them roots and uh, this um, roots and meat and they used to eat them after they become used to coal and they used to like the taste of it okay children so next we come to the last paragraph what it's given the children it's given children to make tools early humans banged stones now what happened to make to make tools okay we all know <clears throat> we have seen okay in the last to last class you have seen various tools were made and what happened when these tools were made what happened they used to take two stone tools they used to hit each other and they used to give shape to the stone tools and what happened when they used to do in this way they observe sparks okay they used to observe spark. when when two sto stones are hit very fast uh, hard then they saw that they used to see that they observe sparks okay children they used to observe sparks which make the grass catch fire in this way early human beings learned to make their own fires so then uh, the early human beings then they started to make their own fire how then because they used to make tools okay and for making tools they have to take two stone stones and they have to hit each other to give shape and they, then they observe sparks and what they did they use this spark to burn dry grass and in this way they learn to make their own fire okay children now let's see children a picture now children you can see here a picture two early human beings what they are doing they are using a stick on the top of a stick they are rubbing it okay children and one more picture you have I will show you this is the picture of a early human being and what is he doing he is rubbing two stones he is rubbing okay he is rubbing two stones he has one in his left hand and one in his right hand he is rubbing two stones and what happened maybe spark came out and then he used to then he used this spark to fire the firewood can you see the wood which has caught fire okay so i hope children it's clear to you so ne let's move to the next topic what is our next topic our next topic is farming kitchen and our next topic is farming and how the early humans learned farming first they were hum gatherers hunters and gatherers when, but then slowly they learned to farm early human beings carefully observed nature it's given that they first they carefully observed nature they threw seeds of fruit on the ground and what they used to do whatever fruit they used to eat the seeds what was left they used to throw it on the ground then soon they saw new plants growing from these seeds then after some time they saw that the seeds which they used to throw on the ground plants used to come out from the seeds we all know plants come out from seeds you must have got in science they saw that seeds grew well in warm weather then they saw that during summer season these plants used to grow very nicely then they stored fruit for the cold weather so what they did they stored the fruits okay they didn't eat the fruits they stored it for the cold weather then they wrapped fruit in the skins of animals to keep them fresh they planted seeds grew plants and began farming so children what they did they used to wrap the fruits in the skins of animals to keep them fresh and then they ate the fruits and then they planted seeds and then they saw that from the seeds plants used to grow and then in this way they used to do farming and they used to do farming throughout the whole year so children let's see a picture how they used to you can see here a picture of the early human beings they have grown grown so many crops and now they are cutting the crops okay children so i hope it's clear to you today children what did we learn two very important things we learned that how early human beings they learned to make fire and number two how they did farming how they learned to make fire first they observed the lightning which used to struck the trees 
then they used to scare the branches of the trees which used to catch fire through the lightning they used to scare away the animals then these the fire that uh, the fire that the trees used to catch they used to throw uh, roots and roots and fruits in them and then after that and meat also in them then they used to taste this food which uh, which fell into the fire and they found that it's very tasty then they waited for the lightning to happen okay and when lightning will happen when there is rain okay and then they waited for the lightning to happen for the trees to get burned then next they learned that they can make fire by themselves by hitting two stones and then they learned to make uh, to grow crops and to grow plants and how they learn to grow plants they used to observe when they used to eat fruits they used to throw away the seeds and what happened when they used to throw away the seeds plants used to grow from the seeds and they used to store the what they used to do they used to store the fruits in the skins of the animals and they used the same seeds in the cold weather also in this way the whole year they used to do farming so children we shall stop till here i hope it's clear to you and all of you give a reading till where i have made you i have explained you okay children so meet you in the next class till then have a good day and take care of yourself and attend the classes regularly okay children bye bye children have a good day